Here we go. Oh, there's a wheel lift. Welcome to MCC Just Motos. All right, since I can't ride the Del Mar, uh, so apparently there's something going on with it. I'm gonna go ride the Livewire one, so I'm gonna go get suited up, and now uh, we'll go ahead for a ride in a bit. What do you guys ride right now? No rider S. No rider S. Nothing. Fat boy, Deuce, XR 1200. Okay, XR 1200, nice. Um, BMW, a little bit of everything. What do you ride? I have a low rider. Nice. Cool. Getting ready to, to ride a live wire. I've ridden a live wire before, but the Del Mar Harley said they were having a little issue, so they kind of canceled riding the live wire Del Mar S2. S2 Del Mar. Um, so I'm on a live wire. One. Um, once again, we'll turn it on. We'll go for a little ride. We'll just get an electric ride today. Okay. Kickstand up. And I think it's on. There we go. What do you ride right now? I got a Road King Special. Okay, what year? Uh, 2017. Okay. Cool. What about you? Uh, a few different bikes. I'm on my Pan Am today. Gotcha. Yeah. Cool. You like it? Yeah, of course. Position, you know, it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty tucked. A little rear set, um, but definitely I'm five nine and a half. Uh, I can flat foot crazy all day long on these. How tall are you? Six. Uh, six foot. Six foot. Yeah. Super flat foot, right? Oh yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ah, <sighs> pretty funny. No clutch, and you're always grabbing for the clutch. That is absolutely true. All right. So there's a couple live wires in front of me. All these riders can easily put their feet down. I guess we're going. Um, it is. It's definitely. Um, you're, it's almost sport bikey. It's definitely almost sport bikey. I'm in rain mode right now. Here we go. So right off the bat, torque's really easy. I mean, it's right there. 700 and some pounds of torque, you're not gonna go wrong. But let's uh, let's change the mode, shall we? Okay, we are now in echo mode. There we go, it's a lot, lot quicker. Um, transition side to side is really nice, really stable, but smooth at the same time too. So flickable and smooth. Suspension is nicely damped. And I love that Tron noise. Okay, I'm gonna go to road mode. A little better. Yeah, and it, the higher wind, but you can really feel it a lot quicker. Oh man, they're making short rides just from their battery perspective. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. So let's go right to uh, sport mode, shall we? All right. Brakes are really good. This bike is not extremely light, but it's definitely it's definitely agile for its size and its heft. I'll say that. I think it's Yeah, it's pretty quick. And it's definitely a different route that I'm taking because it's city, I guess, and battery. Maybe I'm going straight. Do I find myself missing a clutch? A little bit. I 
can you just stop? Sure. Ooh, what was that noise? Huh. I don't know. This bike feels nice. I love it. <laughs> I really do. I can get used to this power and handling. Um, it is heavier, so just say that. Can you stand up? Yeah, kind of. Not really. It fits my frame really nicely. Knees are slightly bent. Um, again, the torque's available right off there in sport mode. The suspension's very well damped for what it is. It's heft. And the agility on it is, I'd say, very stable, very smooth is probably the biggest thing I'm noticing on that stability. It's one of the smoothest, smoothest sporty bikes that I've felt. It's heavy, like I said, but it's smooth. And I love that wine. Brakes are good. Um, back brake is not a ton of feel, but you seems pretty good. I'm just going straight on back brake now. Not a ton of feel, but enough. More than on my Pan America. Is it quicker than my Pan America? Probably so. Can you go without stopping? No. Definitely not. It's a little, <laughs> definitely is heavy and, and not as slow stopping power or stable at slow but that torque is really good right off the bat um, you feel really just rips you out of corners feels like it will lift but I think it's doing a little bit of mitigation Nope. Yeah, it's doing some mitigation. Like, normally I think it could just flip you over backwards, but I think the computer is having you <laughs> mitigate the front wheel left. I'm sure there's a way to turn it off. Um, <laughs> it feels really, really connected. The road feel is decent, but I'll say it's probably... This is one of the smoothest sporty bikes on the handling. It feels like literally literally like your slot car connected on the ground. I think it has to do with the tire choice and the heft. I think you're good, brother. There you go. Yeah, the horsepower is there too. Um, and they say it makes about 100 horsepower. It feels like it. But really, that, that torque is what will put you in the back of your seat. So, it's, again, not jiggly. I really like the suspension on this. I think it's super dialed in. This is the second dialed in Harley I've ridden my Pan America is number one and this is number two as far as like super dialed in suspensions oh there's a wheel lift yep yep wheel lift easy yeah she goes Um, I don't think it's any more agile than my Panit. Maybe a, a little bit more agile, but at high speed, uh, yeah, I feel pretty, pretty cool. All right, all right, that's it. That's the test drive. Really easy to move. Really easy to maneuver for a heavy bike. Well, <laughs> for most people. Oh yeah, you can go right to lock. So yeah, I'm pretty nice with it. Cool. Let's shut her down. What'd you guys think? 
It was all right. It was. I mean, we didn't get to go that fast on it, but it was cool. It was definitely a cool bike. Yeah, you couldn't go uh, super fast on it, right? Yeah, no, I could definitely feel like you could just <laughs> keep going, right? Yeah, yeah. There's definitely some wheel lift mitigation. Yeah. I bring my GoPro, but I didn't. I didn't okay. know if they were gonna want to. <laughs> what about you? How'd you like it? I love it. I think they should have had someone else in front because we're going below the speed limit. <sighs> the torque was there though. The torque is beautiful. Did you guys go to a uh, different the zero? Yeah. Previously, and uh, I like this one. Better. It is. It is a really nice. It's a really well put together motorcycle. Uh, the suspension I thought was fantastic. Um, it's super stable, smooth. Very smooth. Very, very smooth. Very smooth. Regenerated braking too. I think I hit the brake once or twice. Yeah. 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 Uh, actually, I, I sold, I had a ZX9R. Uh huh. Bought it for about four years and sold it. And now I'm looking to see if I want to go more cruiser than sports bike. What do you think of the, uh, the, the live wire? It's actually rather fun. I mean, you didn't get to go super fast, but. <laughs> well, so super fast isn't always everything for me. Uh huh. I got kids, so. Yeah. Like, uh, but it's torquey, right? Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Right off the bat. So like when we first pulled out, yeah. and you guys pulled off because I, I came out last. Yeah. Like, oh, and I caught right back up. What's I'm like, okay, <laughs> right, cool, I can deal with that. Um, my only thought would be uh, just how far can I go? They say 140 miles or something like that before you recharge. Yeah, yeah. Which you know that's Sportster territory right there. Right. Because <laughs> uh, I live in Baltimore, I would yeah. ride up to like maybe Lancaster, Pennsylvania, yeah. sometimes York, you know, up in that area, and ride back down. Everybody's like, "Hey, where'd you go?" In the Pennsylvania and back, and then southwise, I would go like maybe into D.C. or into Virginia and back. Yeah. <laughs> well, cool. Yeah. Never out of gas. Yeah. Never gonna do that. Yeah. No, it's fun though. It's fun. Yeah. yeah. So. Very cool. Very cool. Thanks. All right, guys, I'm on my Pan America. And I want to give you some thoughts. Um, I, again, I'm, I'm, first of all, a huge thank you to Livewire, uh, Harley Davidson, Baltimore, and Livewire for letting me come and test ride the motorcycle. I actually test rode the very first. Actually, had the no, no. I actually had the very first review of a production Livewire, Harley Davidson Livewire. You can check out my view right here. Um, but there's not much difference between the Livewire one and the Harley Davidson Livewire. Um, I can tell you right now. Uh, but I got to ride it and it really reconfirmed, you know, what it was like to ride it. Holy! Pan America! <laughs> All right, there's some uh, people asking what kind of bike this is. My voice cracked. Wow, embarrassing, but okay, cool. Um, so the live wire one's really cool. It, it really is a good feel. We didn't get a rod on it the way I would have liked to, um, but that's okay. Um, it's it's a nice motorcycle, and um, it was really smooth, very very buttery smooth on the on the feeling of the suspension. So very planted. I wouldn't worry about any you know suspension feel. Um, but until next time, I will get a Del Mar ride, just not today. Um, so that's going to do it for me. Enjoy your live wire. S2 Del Mar, your live wire uh, one, or Harley Davidson Pan America, or whatever you ride, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.